You know, preppers hear so many stupid things that it couldn't be contained in one video. Hi folks, Van Prepper back again with even more stupid things that every prepper hears. What are you afraid of? Listen, I don't prep because I'm afraid of something and I don't think most preppers do either. We prep because it's a lot better to have something and be prepared for uh, a survival or emergency situation than to do nothing and just hope that it doesn't happen, that it never happens to you, that you're not, uh, you don't draw the short straw in your life of a natural disaster or uh, some catastrophic event locally or on a larger scale that causes you to be in a situation where you need to survive and you need, uh, you would be reliant on your preps. I don't need to prep because when the shit hits the fan, I'm just going to take it from preppers. Good luck with that, buddy. Are you telling me that somehow, magically, the guy who was too lazy or too stupid to prepare ahead of time for an emergency situation suddenly is going to think circles around the guy or the gal that has been preparing and taking the time and thinking ahead to prepare for months or years? Seriously, do you think they haven't planned for you? I don't need to store up food. I'm just going to hunt for stuff. I'm a hunter. Good luck with that one too, buddy. Without the government controls on how much hunting takes place and the fact that people can no longer go to stores, you're going to see everybody and their brother and their sister out trying to hunt to sustain themselves, the ones who have not prepped ahead of time, which is most people. So you are now in competition with everybody else. There's a limited supply of game available, and that's going to dry up real quick. So what do you want to overthrow the government? Yeah, that's it. I'm crazy and I want to overthrow the government. You should stop watching so much TV and letting the internet and television form your opinions and you should start basing your opinions on facts and logic. I prep because I want to put myself in a position to be able to sustain myself and my family. I want to be reliant on the government in a survival situation in which their priorities are naturally going to be to, as you saw with the Ferguson Police Department, to protect their own stuff. They're not going to be out there worrying about every nickel and dime person like me and taking care of us. You have to make a plan ahead of time. You must be in a cult like one of those Branch Davidians or something. First off, most of the people who use that one are so young that they probably have no functional knowledge of the Branch Davidians at all, except what they read on some internet article, and it's, it's the distant past to them. I lived through that period of time, okay? I am not in a cult. Most preppers are not in a cult. They're not in a doomsday cult. Uh, they're not prepping to, to do harm to other people. They're prepping to prevent harm being done to them and to be able to to sustain themselves and their family and, and take care of ourselves and take care of our families in a real emergency survival situation. You can't carry all that stuff. What good is it going to do you? Um, listen, Mr. Wizard, as I've said in other videos, um, bugging out is a last ditch scenario. It's not anybody's go-to option. It shouldn't be your go-to option. Your house is going to have my house has water, it has food, it has guns and ammunition and all the things that I believe that I need to sustain myself and my family. Now, if I have to bug out, we are prepared for that and we will do that if the situation arises in which that's the case and we will take our limited amount of stuff that we have packed in our bags. But the fact that you can't carry everything is not a reason not to prep it. That's ridiculous. I can't carry three months worth of water, but I damn sure got it stocked in my house. I'm Van Prepper, and this has been even more stupid things that every prepper hears. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, as well as YouTube. Happy shooting, everybody!